might not realize it, but close to 50,000 golf carts are operated in the villages, providing an estimated 80% of all resident trips. Just about every household here has a golf cart, and they are always present on paths and roadways throughout Florida's friendliest hometown. So that's why it's extremely important to make safety and common courtesy a top priority when operating golf carts throughout the community, just like you would with your automobile. To ensure safety, golf carts should be equipped with seat belts for the driver and all passengers. Drivers should only allow the number of passengers for which there are seats. Many villagers transport their grandchildren or great-grandchildren throughout the community when families visit for spring break, summer vacations, or holidays. Always remember to put children in proper seats and never ever drive a golf cart while holding a small child in your lap. Remember the same rules that apply to transporting little ones in automobiles also apply in golf carts. While we're talking about children, please remember that a golf cart driver must be at least 14 years of age. And those young drivers should be taught Florida driving rules as well as common sense and rules of courtesy, as those all will apply throughout the villages. It's also important to remember to keep all body parts inside the golf cart. Never drive with your leg hanging outside the vehicle as your foot can get caught under the cart resulting in broken bones or other serious injuries. As with any vehicle, it's advisable to avoid using your cell phone while driving a golf cart. Please remember that it's illegal to text and drive in the state of Florida. And if you need to speak with someone on the phone, pull your golf cart to the side and have the conversation before continuing on your trip. That way you aren't facing any distractions with driving on paths or roadways. When traveling with pets, it's important to secure the animal in a seat. Never walk your dog while driving the cart beside the animal. Your pet could easily run underneath the cart and be injured or killed. Or their pet could easily be hit by a passing cart, which could lead to an even larger accident that could injure those riding in carts. Golf cart operators should always remember that the rules of the road apply to them any time they are operating their vehicles. Make sure to come to a complete stop at stop signs and always use turn signals when appropriate. Always use caution when entering and exiting tunnels on the various golf cart paths in the community. And finally, drivers of all vehicles, cars, trucks, golf carts, and bicycles should make sure to use their cards when entering gated areas of the villages. After swiping your card past the reader, make sure to allow time for the gate to properly open before traveling through. Never bump the gate or ram it with your vehicle. Those damaging a gate can be billed for the repair, which also ties up district staff members and keeps them from handling other assignments. Another consequence is that a damaged or missing gate allows vehicles to enter the community at will until repairs can be made. Please remember, gates are there for safety to stop and slow vehicles from entering and possibly colliding with golf carts, walkers, or bicyclists. If we all work together and follow the rules of golf cart safety and use common sense and courtesy when passing through gated areas, the villages will not only be Florida's friendliest hometown, but one of the safest as well.